Science and data guided the FDA's decision. We worked quickly based on the urgency of this pandemic, not because of any other external pressure. The head of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is denying there was political pressure in the race to approve a COVID-19 vaccine. Now, the Washington Post reported that the White House chief of staff told Dr. Stephen Hahn to authorize Pfizer's shot by end of day Friday or resign. Now, the green light coming from the FDA after that alleged phone call, but Hahn says that's not how it happened. The representations in the press that um, uh, I was threatened to be fired if we didn't get it done by a certain date um, is inaccurate. This vaccine met the FDA's rigorous standards for quality, safety, and efficacy. Now it's just a matter of getting the vaccine out and into the arms of those who need it most. Make no mistake, distribution has begun. Millions of doses will begin leaving a Pfizer facility in Michigan this weekend, with the first shipments arriving in states Monday morning. Right now, boxes are being packed and loaded with vaccine. The dedicated and independent experts at the FDA. A triumphant Donald Trump touting the review process. Our nation has achieved a medical miracle. We have delivered a safe and effective vaccine in just nine months. Trump had tried to rush a vaccine before the November 3rd election. Could even have it during the month of October. On Friday, he lashed out at the FDA on Twitter for not moving faster, calling it a big old slow turtle. Democrats once raised doubts about whether a shot approved under Trump could be trusted. The president-elect telling Americans it should be trusted. I want to make it clear to the public, you should have confidence in this. There is no political influence. And the Pfizer vaccine clearing another hurdle on Saturday after a Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Advisory Committee voted to recommend the shot for people who are 16 and older. Now, the CDC director is expected to accept that recommendation. Federal officials overall are just feeling very hopeful. D-Day was the beginning of the end, and that's where we are today. For City News, I'm Karen Seolan.